obviously we're in an election year. What, what, what is the, the general antitrust environment like right now? What, what are you telling clients as, as they contemplate transactions they should be worried about? Well, some people may believe that if there were a, a Republican administration that antitrust enforcement might have a lighter touch. I think that that's probably uh, overly optimistic if you're one who would like to see a lighter antitrust enforcement. When you are looking at the antitrust laws, there is a range within which reasonable people can agree and disagree, and you might get slightly different views of a deal depending on whether there's a Republican in the White House or a Democrat in the White House. But it's a very, very modest difference, only around the edges. So I think as people are looking at deals right now, they need to be cognizant of the fact that the antitrust laws are there, that they are being enforced, that the way they're enforced, I think, is pretty clear and predictable, um, and they ought to listen to their counselors on antitrust risk. We're almost obviously at the end of, of Obama's term. How would you compare the antitrust enforcement in President Obama's term to the antitrust enforcement in President Bush's two terms? How much difference do you think there really has been? Well, President Obama came to office and he pledged to have vigorous and transparent enforcement of the antitrust laws, and that's what we tried to do. That's why we rewrote the horizontal merger guidelines, not to change the standards, but to make it clearer to people how we actually evaluated deals. That's why we withdrew the Section 2 report, which was a standard that had been issued previously that really, I think, murkied the waters on what a firm with market power is allowed to do and not do. So we withdrew that, reverted back to the standing Supreme Court precedent. We revised the remedy guidelines so that companies understood that there were opportunities to to fix deals that were problematic with actions short of divestitures. So I think under President Obama, the antitrust laws have been fairly and predictably enforced. President Obama is committed to making sure the economy works for all Americans, and I think that involves fair enforcement of the antitrust laws.